and this is Cannabis Chronicles, a 10,000 year odyssey. So tell me, muse, of that plant of many resources, which wander far and wide the ancient plant of food, fiber, fuel, cultivated for millennial. As we venture through the past 10,000 years, we will explore and discover the plant from which cannabis derives. The many uses of the plant, hemp, cannabis, ashes, cannabis in religion, cannabis in medicine, cannabis in dear old Uncle Sam. And so the Odyssey begins. Today, our Odyssey is not long ago and far away. It is in progress. It is now. And so today, we will visit with some friends. And as you all know, I only talk to dear friends. So here is my dear friend, Jennifer Inoy, and you've all met Jennifer before. Uh -huh. And now a new best friend is Lionel Wright, and he calls himself the Black Hawaiian. Yeah, from Papakalea, you should be Hawaiian, right? Yeah, <laughs> yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> Anybody born and raised in Papakalea, and for anybody that doesn't know where Papakalea is, it is a very old, ancient Hawaiian homestead. So it's up near the um, Punch Bowl, yes. the National Cemetery of the Pacific. So that's where Papakalea is. Okay, and today we are going to talk with these two illustrious people about an event that Lionel has put together so that we can learn more about all these wonderful products. Lionel, so talk to us about you and this event you're having and why and all of that kind of stuff. So all talk right. to me. All right, thank you. First of all, thank you very much for having me on the show. Really appreciate it. And so, you know, um, that being said, this event, uh, first of all, the, 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 the title itself is, is a mouthful. It's called Hawaii's First Ever CBD Sample Sale and Education. And the reason why it has that name is because we want to be able to sell some products, but we also want to be able to educate the public. The event is happening this Friday. It's going to be on March 15th. It's going to be over at Artistry Nightclub from 5 to 9, or from 5 to 10 p.m., excuse me. Where is Artistry Nightclub? So Artistry Nightclub, for those of you who don't know, it's right uh, located in the Kaka'ako area. Um, so, like, you know, for those of you um, that have been in Hawaii for a while, you know, nowadays we don't have rumors nightclub anymore for, like, you know, special occasions and fundraisers. Um, Artistry Nightclub is kind of that new space now. So they're a nightclub, but they're a space that you could rent for special events and stuff like this. And so that's where we're going to have the event there. Ryan and Kaka'ako, they have um, some what? parking there, free parking on the street, but um, they also have valet service as well. So, excuse me, where in Kaka'ako, the streets? Oh, sorry. Um, it's, it's, um, it's right on um, Cook Street, and, and, uh, and, and Pohukaina is the crossroad, so oh. it's right maybe about a block away from the UFC gym. Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay. So if you are going down, uh, what is it, Nuuanu, down oh. to Pohukaina? Yes. And you could actually, from well, I think it's uh, too far away. you got to come more over um, past the, um, um, like more closer to Ward Avenue. So closer to Ward. Okay. Yeah. All right, good. So what is going to happen at that event? So at, at that event, what we have is we have a, a bunch of CBD vendors. And, and it's not only um, like um, products to, to take. We also have um, other products as well, um, you know, as, as far as our company's um, apparel as well. So excuse me. And so the whole idea with this event is that I wanted to put something together where people could come and ask questions, you know, um, and, and find out more about you know, not only the, the, the products, but also find out about the company. You know, I, I believe here in Hawaii, you know, there, there, there's a lot of people that, that are wanting to learn more. And so they, they kind of feel intimidated. You know, they don't want to go to anything or, or it's hard to go out to somewhere, you know, to find out information. And so CBD, you know, people want to know, but 
um, I'm hoping that people will come out. So that's what this whole, you know, the whole event is about, is just kind of bringing a bunch of good business owners together, a lot of local guys, and then some of the mainland people will be there as well, and just being able to converse and talk with the public. So the people will be able to talk to the vendors? Yes. And actually, um, during this event, the vendors will actually have time and they'll be on the microphone as well. So, you know, they'll be kind of talking about their personal uh, situations and, and what's going on. And, you know, the thing about CBD is that not all CBD is cr created equally, you know, and, <laughs> and, and, and there, there's a lot of education that needs to happen. And so that's why this event is very important. And right now, the time is now, I think, because everybody's looking at the cannabis industry. You know, they're looking at the business, but, you know, people need to understand how it works and understand that there's more than just THC. You know, CBD is a very good thing, you know, and the more people learn, the more they will know whether it's a, something that they can take or something that's for them or not, you know, or for their loved ones, you know, for pain or whatnot. So, Jennifer. Jennifer Inouye, if you may remember a couple of years ago, right? she was with us. And Jennifer, by trade, I think I got this right, is a software architect. Correct. She was one of those that created the cloud, where we all kind of now take for granted that everybody has <laughs> stuff right. in the cloud. Right. So she comes from this incredible background of education. And so we wanted Jennifer to talk to, uh, to us about what is CBD, what is cannabidiol? Mm -hmm. What are all of these things? How does it work? And that's why we've asked Jennifer to come back. Right. That was a great conversation that we had. It was. Right. It was. And before we go too far with Jennifer, Jennifer made these incredible lozenges. Right. That's this one? Mm -hmm. Okay. This lozenge, this beautiful little package. So after that show, she gave me the package. Now my husband is a vet, I was a veteran, and he has the residuals of Agent Orange. So he loves these things. It gives him, it calms him. He feels comfortable with it, and all of this stuff that he has going on, it really makes a difference in how he sleeps and how he feels mm -hmm. during the day. That's wonderful to hear. Thank, you, so, thank you for sharing that. Yes. So that, no, I don't get a cutback. I don't get a, <laughs> I don't own any piece of the product. Right. <laughs> yeah. right. But uh, that is after we had you the first time mm -hmm. and we started talking about this and we tried. Now, one more thing about CBD and Jennifer. <laughs> we were at the senior fair mm. in White, uh, Waikiki, Waikiki Community right. Center. Mm -hmm. So Jennifer comes in with this beautiful bowl and the lozenges. lozenges. right? So the two of us walked around to all the seniors and gave them one or two. Then they all circled back for more. What is this? What is it? They Can didn't I ask. More, please? They didn't ask. Right. <laughs> they just took it. And then somebody right. else said, oh, that's the Costco syndrome. The Costco syndrome, syndrome right? <laughs> yes, the that's syndrome. the Costco syndrome. What's this? Yeah, that's they really just right? took it. Yeah. Right. And right. then came back for more. Right. Yeah, yeah they were coming back around and saying, what is this? What and is may this? I have some may more. I have some why? Does, why? Why yes. is this working better? Right. Yes. Yeah. It was great. It yep. was great. Yep. So that's just to give you a background of being with Jennifer and her products. Now, since then, she has created a whole line of products. Right. So tell us what we have. Okay, I'd love to, and thank you again for the opportunity. The lozenges, which uh, which Marcia just spoke about briefly, these are probably the um, the best and most selling product. CBD taken sublingually, which is uh, in, in your mouth, um, has a much faster effect um, rather than taking it, uh, ingesting it um, through your stomach, which of course it has to go through your stomach acids and, and it has to be processed through your liver, so it takes longer as well to be effective when you uh, when you take it and you swallow it. So when you dissolve that in your mouth, you, you get the uh, sublingual effects immediately. So um, that's probably the, the best-selling product that I have. The second is probably the, the CBD oil, which, um, which is very common. Um, some of the, uh, it's a new addition on these bottles. I don't know if you can see it very well in the, uh, the camera. But I do have dosing uh, on the bottles so as it well, tells which is you very helpful. Yeah. How much CBD per drop? Per drop. Yes, even uh -huh. you know, per milliliter, per drop, and of course in the whole bottle. That one's been very effective. As a matter of fact, I take a... 
I use the 1500 milligram. I use that in the morning. I take uh, one milliliter in the morning uh, to maintain my own homeostasis. So Your what? My own homeostasis, which is what basic is a homeostasis. Homeostasis <laughs> is, is getting back to center, essentially. Oh. Right. So getting okay. back to a, to a healthy start. Oh, okay. okay. We can go into CBD uh, yes. on a we whole will. session. Yeah. We will. Right. So a vape is another uh, interesting way of consuming CBD. So you're vaporizing it, so it's, it's, it's hitting your lungs. Um, so that's one way of getting it into your system continuously. Again, it's not always discreet, so I often supplement with the CBD, sorry, the, the lozenges, because you can keep that in your purse, you can take it whenever. Right. Great before meetings. <laughs> Um, body butter, this is amazing. It so is. this is a body butter. I don't use any waters in any of the products. I don't, try not to add any chemicals, so it's all natural. It typically lasts about a, a year because of that. So the body butter is wonderful. It's uh, great for, for scarring, uh, wonderfully um, nutri nutrient-rich, and has also 200 milligrams of CBD in it as well. I do lip scrub. We have a wonderful face serum. Um, we have an edible massage oil that was uh, left over from Valentine's Day. Um, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Right. laughs> yes. um, and of course, CBD rub. This CBD rub here is, um, it's, it's a go-to product. As a matter of fact, I did put some on my legs this morning as I ran up the stairs in a hurry and left a nice little bruise there. It's great for, for topical application. Um, you know, we go into the gym. It's just something I, I keep on hand and use often. Use it for burns. If you get burned, quickly get it under cold water to pull the heat out and, and put a skim of the CBD rub on there, and it, it should help prevent uh, blistering and, and scarring. Very good. It takes the inflammation right out. And of course, the bathing. Best way of, of consuming CBD is to, to soak in it. It's great for that time of the month for women. It's great if you've got just issues, if you're sore from a long hike, things like that. Soaking in Epsom salts and then the addition, of course, of the CBD and some essential oils. Okay, cool. now, what is CBD? We keep throwing that around like right. everybody knows what it is. What is CBD? Right. So CBD, how, Dad, sorry? what part of the cannabis is CBD? So CBD is short for cannabidiol. Cannabidiol is one of many cannabinoids. Um, CBD can be found in cannabis, but all of these products are used from CBD, which was derived from hemp. And the reason for that is I wanted to make sure I had a product that had no THC in it whatsoever. And I go so far as to get, this is a, a lab analysis from a, a local lab called uh, Steep Hill. And I wanted first to, to verify the formulation. And uh, this tells me that it's basically 9.8 milligrams of CBD, 0% THC. So this lets me know that, A, I got the formulation right, and the actual contents. There's no THC in, in here, and the amount of actual CBD per milligram per lozenge. Right? And, and everybody should ask for this. When they're, when they're researching um, CBD these days, they should really be asking what's in it. How was it derived? Was it from cannabis? Was it from hemp? And the other... Uh, lab analysis I have here is from the CBD itself that came off the hemp plant, which tells me it's 99.2% total cannabinoids. So in short, CBD is one of many cannabinoids, the primary ingredient in all of the alexithyl products, and one of the most um, beneficial cannabinoids. Okay, now, cannabinoids um, react or act with the body how? What's, what makes them uh, what makes the body accept them without right. any so issues? So the mechanics at work. The mechanics at work. Right. Them, so yes. we have in our bodies something called an endocannabinoid receptor. We actually produce um, cannabinoids endogenously. As a matter of fact, if you are breastfeeding, you, are, you have cannabinoids in your breast milk, um, which is kind of fascinating in itself. So we have these endocannabinoid receptors. We have them on our skin. We have them in our brain. We have them throughout our body, which is why we can put on a topical and we can receive the medicine topically that way. So with the endocannabinoid receptors, um, depending on the cannabinoid, will determine how and where it does its, its work. So ca cannabidiol, canna cannabidiol in particular, works to, in the case of inflammation, it will prevent an inflammation response. So in the case of a burn. So the body knows... It's, it's the body's familiar with it, I guess, is that... Right. It's like we've got this message bus. Again, I'm kind of referring to my, my career yes. side here. It's like we have this message bus you know, in our system. It's like a motherboard, and we've got this system of messages that are constantly going on. And I believe that over time, all the crap that we fed ourselves results in things like not being able to purge garbage, like leftover hormones, for example. 
Not left over hormone. Okay. Right. So cortisol is a response. A heart attack. Heart attack is a response. Um, a hormone response, and you get a, a flood of hormones um, racing through your body after trauma. So I think I believe that we're not as efficient as at cleaning that out. So I'm finding that CBD is is something again helping me getting back to homeostasis. Wow. Okay, we need to take a break. And we will come back and learn more about being a homeostasis. Did I get it right? Uh, in a state of homeostasis. A homeostasis. Yes. Okay. All right. So we'll be right back. Aloha and welcome to At the Crossroads. I'm your host, Keisha King. I'm live at five every Wednesday, where we have entertaining and educational conversations that are real and relevant, both here in Hawaii and across the globe. I'll see you at the crossroads. Aloha. Hey, aloha. My name is Andrew Lanning. I'm the host of Security Matters Hawaii, airing every Wednesday here on Think Tech Hawaii, live from the studios. I'll bring you guests. I'll bring you information about the things in security that matter to keeping you safe, your coworkers safe, your family safe, to keep our community safe. Uh, we wanna teach you about those things in our industry that you know may be a little outside of your experience. So please join me because security matters. Aloha. Aloha. I'm Marcia and we're back with my new best friend, Lionel Wright, and of course, an an old standard here, I guess she's not old, and <laughs> Jennifer Inouye. And so we are talking about an event that's going to happen on the 15th of March, the Ides of March, it's an interesting time, and it is called the Hawaii's first ever CBD sample and educational. Right. Okay, Lionel, so talk, talk to us. Tell us what it is that we're going to see, what's going to happen, how we can participate. All right, great. So, like she said, uh, the title is called the F Hawaii's First Ever CBD Sample Sale and Educational, happening this Friday um, over at the RDC nightclub from 5 to 10 p.m. And uh, basically what, what, what we're looking to show there is we're, we're going to showcase different local vendors um, here in Hawaii that are doing different CBD products. There's so many different types of products. And, you know, the thing is this, is, is like um, we had shared earlier um, with, with Jennifer, is that she actually has um, documented proof on where the origin of her CBD comes from and the quality of that. And so that, that's what this event is all about, really is, is trying to, um, I guess, educate the public and, and get them to know that not all... CBD is created equal. There, there's, there's different types of things going on. And, and I know for, um, um, I think it's the FDA, right, is, is coming out with, with some um, regulations with C for CBD as well. And so with that, you know, they're actually looking to, to regulate that somehow, way, shape, or form. And that's probably for another conversation coming up. Right. That's scary. Yes. Right. yes. But, but, so but, the but, you know, Coca-Cola is now putting CBD in their drinks. Right. Yes. yes. Big Pharma is... Right, and I believe that FDA kind of wants, wants to try and get ahead of that, ahead of that and set yeah. some, some standard compliance down. Yeah, okay. that's, which isn't bad in yeah. itself. Yeah. But, but uh, doing regulations when you don't know the product, when you don't know, because right. you know, they've spent so many years saying this is bad, and right. now they've got right. to... So many, so many studies out there, and over 90% of them are just on safety. Yes. Right. Not the efficacy. Well, the idea that, and anybody that wants to go look, 1949, the original patent on marijuana is owned by Uncle Sam, right. and it tells, if you read the patent, which I have, which we've done, mm -hmm. it says all the things that it cures. All the medical all ailments the medical, yes. that THC is used for. for. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah. they are the ones that banned it. Yeah, but, but right. that's a different story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the fact that this part of it is just gone crazy, just wild. People are just loving it. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that there's a way to 
put a lid on that. Right, putting the, 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 the cap back on the You can't put it back in the bottle, yeah. Well, they're, they're a little uh, late to the party on, on trying to, I think, trying to regulate it. One, because it's so popular. And just cannabis business in general right now is really big. You know, I mean, you could talk to so many people out there, friends and family. Everybody's trying to learn about where can I invest? You know, how can I put money into the cannabis industry? Mm -hmm. And, you know, the crazy thing is in Hawaii, you know, not to mention everywhere else, it's more than just the flower or the plant. There's many other support mm -hmm. industries that can right. happen. And this is just kind of one of the many things, you know, with the CBD. And this is why we had made this event is that I feel like it's really important because there's a lot of light on the industry. And now we need to start educating people. Right. Disambiguate. Yeah. Products, and and just, just to understand this is that not everybody can take CBD products because depending on what type of business or company that you work for, you know, um, they might have a zero tolerance and you may end up losing your job or losing benefits. And I've actually heard of horror stories like this happening. Mm -hmm. And that's with, what really with, TH, with, with THC, yes. So you get a dirty P test. But with CBD, there is a there is a, a public case that's um, there was a, a hemp company, a CBD product, a CBD oil product. And there was somebody that claimed that um, they failed a drug test. Now, the thing about a drug test, if you're just going to test for THC and you're just taking CBD, there's no reason why you would fail that. But some companies will test for all cannabinoids, not just one cannabinoid uh, being THC. It's a more expensive test, so companies typically probably won't do it. But they may not disclose whether they're testing just for a singular can cannabinoid or many cannabinoids. Yeah. And... So if, for to blanket say that people will not fail a drug test would, would be false statements. Right. Right. And so I have told, been told that the THC stays in the body for s several months. A couple of weeks for sure, but yeah. well, so it surprised me if it was months. Uh, according to lab uh, results, um, or like, well, what they tell lab for references, uh, 30 days mm -hmm. is, is what THC is. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that if you are taking medical for, for whatever reason mm -hmm. you're taking the medical and then you know you have an accident now they're going to charge you because they don't understand that this medicine stays in right and unfortunately we kind of have to go through those cases yes. to get to some kind of test that can tell whether you have something immediately in your system as opposed to an edible that, that you took the night before so you or can four months a month ago or right, yeah. two weeks ago for example Yes, right. and, 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 and it's a prescription, right? Yeah, and you have a card, and it's legal, right? Yeah, but, but but just like a prescription, any prescription, there's responsibilities to it because if you take right. something that makes you sleep, you can't take it before. No, no, I'm I'm right. not saying that it would make you sleep. I don't know that, but what I'm saying is that if okay, so you did this a month ago, and now you have an accident, even if it's not your fault, right. and they test you. Right. Then they say, oh, well, here's... You have cannabis in your system. Yeah, so cannabis you're in your system, right. so you're at fault. Right. Yeah. I almost think we have to go through some of those cases in order to, to set things right with, yeah. with, and, and have this. This is going to become a part of our society, so we have to learn how to adapt to it. And that is going to mean probably taking, taking more accurate tests to find out if it's active, currently active in your system versus being Well, the police department, I read that article with the police chief, and she didn't want him to hear that. She just said, nope. No, we're not having it. This is right. Unfortunately, it's the, the 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 kind of closed mind that will will get us into some of that that hot water. But again, maybe we have to go through some of those cycles and well, issues in order to now, get to the root. I would cause. like, since you're doing this, and uh, yes, I'm going to tell you what I want. Yes, I yes. think that the more educational projects you do, mm -hmm. the more that kind of information gets out. Right. The more or even invite the chief of police if you, you know. Love to have a conversation. Yes, sure. Right. Yeah. How are we yeah. going to tackle this? Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. If I'm driving three weeks later, you know, how, how would you, you know, suggest yeah. that, I, that I handle it? How should I present myself, you know? Right. In those cases. It'd be great uh, conversations to have. Yes. And even with, with people with uh, diabetes, if they mm -hmm. have, have a sugar attack, what about them? How, would, how do you handle that? You know, so I think that we, while we're off the track, we need to, mm -hmm. to talk to the, the, the police department needs to be a part of the education. Right. Yes. Legislation well, as well. Yeah, we're something interesting is that when, when, when you pose that question, this is the answer. 
we have a website for that. <laughs> and, and, and for me, like, I, I love that answer because that means that information is everywhere and you can grab your phone and find it. But the thing is this, we're humans, you know, we still long for that human interaction. And some people still like to talk to people one on one to get info. And that's what this is all about. Because, I mean, you know, you, I, I don't know if you folks remember, but, you know, back, back in the old days when there were text, you know, when you could page somebody, you know, the thing about paging and texting and, and even emailing is, is that there's, there's no, um, there's no emotion connected no to context, it. So you don't right? know, right. yeah, the context of where it's coming from. Right. You know, so even though they can put words on a paper or words on a screen, it's all about meeting that person. And, you know, with a lot of these, these, these uh, people, you know, that we'll be, we'll be um, bringing out to this event, the owners, you know, it's, it's not about only the product, but it's about the passion. It's about the why, like why right. did Jennifer get involved to do this? Because mm -hmm. like we talked about earlier, she has a great, you know, a set of skills that she could do anything else, but she's Thank doing you. this. Why? Mm -hmm. Because everybody has a why. And, you know, and that's what this is all about. When you come to the show, you're going to meet people like Jennifer. You're going to feel that passion and you're going to find out the why. Okay. We're just about out of time. So one more time, the name of the event, time and place. All right. Hawaii's first ever CBD sample sale and educational. It's happening this Friday, March 15th, over at the Artistry Nightclub. It's over at 461, I believe, Cook Street over in Kaka'ako. And um, for, for you, if you guys need to get information as far as tickets, um, it's on eventbrite.com. Tickets are actually just $5. But if you got your 329 card, you're currently you know, a, a medical patient, you can just get that card to get in free. You show us a, a current card. Or if you have a BYOC Hawaii shirt like I'm wearing here, oh, okay, which, which, are, which are actually sold in different areas around town, um, you wear the shirt, you're getting free as well. And right. so the last thing is this. This is one of more to happen. So please keep right. your eyes open and your ears open and um, expect to see more educationals like this. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. It's been a real pleasure spending thank the you. time with you. And we'll see you on Friday. Thank, thank you very much. Much. Thank, thank you. Thank you.